what we have here. The beaker of cold water, 10 degrees Celsius. Room temperature, about 21 degrees Celsius. And then warm water, which is about 50 degrees Celsius. We're going to drop in one drop of food coloring and look at the diffusion. Ooh, splash. One. Take a look and notice that the cold water, not quite as diffused. The same thing with the room temperature. A little more diffusion with the warm water. And to take a closer look. This is the cold water. Room temperature. Notice that the warm water has diffused a lot quicker. And then looking from the top. All right, well, here we have a beaker of iodine. We're going to take and put the dialysis bag into the beaker of iodine. I weighed it here, but that wasn't necessary, so I'm not going to include that weight. Um, notice the initial color of the beaker is like a light brown. We're going to wait and see what happens. Here we have the starch bag after about 10 minutes. Um, notice that it's turning blue. And after 30 minutes, this is what our starch bag looks like. Now notice that we have iodine that's moved inside the dialysis tube and has interacted with the starch. Remember, when iodine comes in contact with starch, um, you will get the blue-black color. Alright, what we have here is we have um, the blue is the 10% sucrose. The green middle beaker is going to be the 20% sucrose, and then the last beaker is going to be your 40% sucrose. Um, inside of each beaker is water, so what we're going to do is after um, we initially weigh that the weights will be under the beaker here, after five minutes we'll weigh it again. Okay, it has been five minutes. So after weighing the 10% sucrose, we have 26.7 grams. Um, the 20% sucrose is now 24.7 grams. And the 40% sucrose is going to be 27.2 grams. So again, we put them back in the beaker and we wait another five minutes. So here are the numbers again for each beaker. now at the um, after 10 minute mark and the first one is 26.3 grams 10% sucrose the 20% sucrose is 27.0 grams and the 40% is 30.6 grams 
All right, we are now at the after 15 minute mark. The first 10% sucrose, 26.6 grams, 20% sucrose, 26.5 grams, and the 40% sucrose, 31.3 grams. So we took everything out of the beakers and after 20 minutes, the blue 10% um, sucrose is 24.7 grams, the green 20% is 27.6 grams, and the 40% sucrose, the red, is 31.2 grams. Here we have 40% sucrose in the dialysis bags using beakers of different temperatures. There's warm at 21.8 grams, room temperature at 17.4 grams, and cold water at 16.1 grams. After five minutes, we have the warm at 22.7 uh, grams, the room temperature at 18.15 grams, and the cold at 16.4 grams. We had to be that spot on. So here we've taken out the dialysis tubes and just looking at them after 10 minutes. We um, have weighed it and then the warm is 23.33 grams, the room temperature is 18.4 grams, and the cold is 16.9 grams. After 15 minutes, we have a the warm water is 23.6 grams, the room temperature is 18.8 .8 grams, and the cold is 17.2 grams. Notice that we have a little beaker color change. Here is at the last time point. The dialysis bags are in order. Um, they are, the first one is the warm temperature, the second one is room temperature, and the last one is cold water. It's showing you the effect of um, whether it's woolen or whether it looks like it's lost water, notice that the warm water looks a lot more uh, fuller um, and compared to the other two. So after 20 minutes, notice this um, color change here. But the beaker, the warm beaker is 24.3 grams, warm temperature 18.95 grams, and cold 17.3 grams. And that's the end of our osmosis lab. Um, if you have questions, please make sure you um, let me know, um, comment in the video, or ask them during class. Um, remember, all your data needs to be, um, at least the last two, when you have a changing in temperature and a changing in concentration, these need to be graphed with um, axes labeled in a title. Um, think about what did we change? That would be your independent variable. Your dependent variable is what we measured. So. Keep that in mind um, when you're making your graphs. What did we change versus what was measured? Um, again, independent variable is on your x-axis. The dependent variable is on your y-axis. Happy reporting!